Welcome to The Upside, brought to you by the City of Pensacola, with your hosts, Vernon Stewart and Tanya Vaden. Also, special reporter Allie Norton. The Upside is here to bring you news, views, and activities from right here in Pensacola. And now The Upside with Vernon and Tanya. Hello, Pensacola, and welcome back to The Upside. It's Thanksgiving week, and on behalf of the city of Pensacola, we want to wish you and your family a happy Thanksgiving. Well, we had an early start to the Thanksgiving holiday. Last Friday, we held our Gobble Till You Wobble event, where people 50 and better enjoyed a traditional Thanksgiving meal. This event is usually held at the Bayview Senior Center, but since it's undergoing renovations right now, it was held at the Brownsville Community Center. And we also don't want you to forget that this Tuesday is the community Thanksgiving meal at the Fricker Resource Center, and that will be from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. Absolutely. And with Thanksgiving week, City Hall is going to be closed. It's going to be closed on Thursday and Friday. So if you have any business that needs to be conducted regarding the City of Pensacola or City Hall related, please try and get that done before Thursday. Well, and of course, Thanksgiving kicks off the giving season, too. And um, we have already started the Operation Backpack Resupply program for this year where we're resupplying school supplies for our kids that are attending our after-school programs. But now it's expanded and we're offering hurricane relief to Hurricane Michael victims over in Panama City. Um, We learned that there is actually a school over there that completely lost everything. That's Springfield Elementary School in Bay County. And they've been relocated to a completely different building. Um, because their building was destroyed and they lost everything due to the hurricane. So we wanted to help them out by sending some supplies and some backpacks that we collect through Operation Backpack. We have um, a list of supplies for if you want to donate for uh, one of our Pensacola students on our website. And then we also have a list if you want to donate specifically for the Springfield students, Springfield Elementary students. So um, we're going to have a special collection blast on November the 27th at Sky Zone Pensacola. Nice. So if you want to bring a backpack and school supplies that day, you can get a buy one, get one free jump pass from Sky Zone. So bring that out on November the 27th. Um, anytime that Sky Zone is open, I think they're open from, um, I think, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. that evening. And we will have a Parks and Recreation representative there for part of the day as well to collect those backpacks and supplies. That's really cool. That's really neat. And thank you to Sky Zone for partnering with the city on that. Yes, absolutely. Well, the city recently celebrated a groundbreaking for the Garden District Cottages. 26 new homes are being built at the former Blunt School site. The city purchased the property in 2011 using mostly grant money. Parsco LLC won the bid to develop it. They held an event to kick off the construction and Mayor Ashton Hayward served as the keynote speaker. This is what he had to say about the project. And we're gonna create something that's very important for the citizens of Pensacola, where they can walk downtown, they can walk to the Maritime Park to go see a Wahoos game, they can go to the opera, the ballet, the symphony, no matter what their income level is. And creating that right energy in Pensacola was what it was all about. We're really excited about this. This looks like it's gonna be a really nice project and it's just gonna be another another win for, uh, for the city of Pensacola. Absolutely, and uh, beautiful cottages over there as well. Thanks to a charitable donation, two Pensacola Police canines will receive life-saving gear. Canine Argo and Canine Foster will receive bullet and stab protective vests, courtesy of the nonprofit Vested Interest Canines, Inc. The organization's mission is to provide gear to dogs of law enforcement officers. That's really neat, and that's something that people don't really think about. Dogs do need these bulletproof vests. They sure do. They're just as vulnerable as our officers. Absolutely. Well, Pensacola, that's all we have for this week. Be sure and like and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button down there so you don't miss an episode. And once again, we want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving, and we will see you next next week. week. This has been The Upside, brought to you by the City of Pensacola. Join us right here again next week for more of The Upside.